Okay, today we're going to go through the process of setting up your new company email account in your Gmail. Okay, this is done so you have one central location where you can check and respond to all the emails you receive on your new company account as opposed to having to open multiple websites, multiple webmails to do so. Okay. Now the first thing we have to do is we actually need to go and open the webmail for your new company email account. Again, once it's set up in, in Gmail, you won't have to do this again, but for the setup, uh, we need to have this account open. Okay, so you go to the um, uh, address provided uh, in the setup email that was sent to you. In my case, uh, that server address is mail.newmillennium.net. Um, you put your full email address in the username field and then the password that was provided to you in the password field and you hit the login button. And your email will pop up. You hit the inbox and leave it for, uh, for right now like that. Go back to your Gmail. We need the, the you know, company webmail later on for a verification process. So just don't close the window, just leave it there. Okay, now to set up your new account in Gmail, you find this little settings icon that looks like a little gear. And uh, you click on it, find settings, click there. And it will bring up this screen and you find accounts and import. You click on that. And then you scroll down and it has this link here, add a POP3 mail account you own. We'll click on that. And then you put your email address in here again, full email address. Click on next step. In the username, again, full email address. And your password. And POP server is again the same uh, server address that has been provided to you the port make sure it says 110 leave all of these blank except the label incoming messages okay now you can this will default to simply the email address but you can you know add a new label if you want that makes it easy for you to identify, uh, you know, that this is email from your company account. Okay. Click Add Account. And then it'll ask you if you want to uh, send email from that account as well. You click Yes. Hit Next Step. In here, you put the name that you want to appear um, in other people's uh, webmail or email client, uh, you know, your name, the company name, whatever you want it to be. Uh, make sure, verify that this is your proper email address and uncheck this treat as an alias. Okay, then hit next step. The SMTP server again is the server address provided to you and once more the username needs to be your full address enter your password set the port to 25 and select unsecured connection and click on add account okay. now it says that a verification code has been sent to you and of course that verification code was sent to your new company email account and that is why we needed to open the webmail okay and you click on the inbox again to refresh it and there is the gmail confirmation code you double click on it to select it then right click and copy Back to your Gmail, we'll get the uh, verification dialog box here. Click in here, then right click 
paste and now click verify okay. now your account is set up and verified there's one more thing we need to do you see here where it says when replying to a message you want to set this to reply from the same message it was sent to what that will do is if an email is sent to your Gmail and you hit reply it will automatically reply from Gmail if you receive email through your company account within Gmail it will automatically reply using the company account so this way you don't get into a situation where reply you reply to a message um, that was sent to your company account and suddenly you know people have your your personal Gmail account which might be you know less than desirable anyway now you click on the inbox and you see that the confirmation email that was just sent to your webmail account uh, on, on our servers has now also shown up in Gmail that's because now the remote retrieval is active and it has gone to our servers fetched this email and you can see that it prefixed it with this label that you chose and also over here there is that same label okay so all of these emails will now continue to come in from your new company account with this label attached to it and you can always click on this label here to only show your company email accounts okay now when you click on this email and it opens it up you know it's all the same features uh, uh, that all of your Gmail emails have so if you want to reply to this message you hit the reply button and down here you see you know the the, the email uh, address appears uh, of the person that has sent you that email if you click on that you will see that down here a from box appears and that has now defaulted to your new uh, company account but you can switch this if you want so if for whatever reason uh, uh, an email has shown up in one account uh, using one email address but you want to reply to it from the other you can do this in here okay but we have set it up so it automatically uh, will reply from the address it was sent to okay and that is pretty much it you're all set up now you can uh, log out of your webmail account and close that window and now all of your mail comes into your Gmail account and you can respond uh, there as well if you want to send a new message using that account you click on compose and it will default to your whatever your Gmail address is but again there's this little down arrow here you can click on it and can select your company email address and now it will be sent out using our servers and also something comes back to it through our servers will be fetched with the label you selected attached to it and identify it as such and that completes the setup of your new company account in your gmail enjoy